So remember that rant I had in Kinuichi Tsubaki about ninjas basically being their own ethnicity in the contemporary Japanese fantasy genre? Well, it looks like now we have a show specifically dedicated to proving me correct. How fun. Shinobi no Eituki is an original 12-episode urban fantasy anime about ninjas created by these two studios that tells us the original story of what if we took a ninja story and made it into a modern setting. We follow Ituki Sakuraba, an ordinary Japanese boy, stop rolling your eyes you dumb fuck, this is serious business, who one day realized that he basically lives in a ninja village. Everyone he ever knew, including his stepsister, <coughs> are actually ninjas and his mom is the leader of the ninjas in this village... down urban type settlement. And his big kind uncle goes basically, you're a ninja, Itoki. But they are a dying village that is poor or something and the evil enemy village of ninjas wanted them dead because they are convinced that they have killed their leader or something like that. Uh, so things are relatively simple to explain. Who are we? The chosen heir of a venerable ninja village. What is the conflict? The rival Koga village wants us dead. What do we do about it? We enter a super magical ninja academy where we will train and also hide from the enemy ninja village since they can't attack it. And so he barely passes on the exam, goes on a secret train to a secret academy and starts doing the usual secret academy business. Who knew that ninjas are in actuality just wizards from Harry Potter? Well, I guess this only proves my point about them being separate from Japanese now, isn't it? This part would have been fine. It would be absolutely fine to see the adventures of Itoki Potter and his circus of freaks in a ninja academy. Unfortunately, that whole thing about the academy... Last about six episodes, the rest of the anime immediately delves into the politics of the ninja world that have their own governing body and Koga Village just goes off the rails and starts effectively an undeclared war against the whole of ninjadom and that the protagonist's village apparently has a source of infinite power for their super suits and uh... What happened to the whole Ituki should be in an academy to hide from the bad guys narrative? Why am I watching this guy, who as far as we know discovered the ninja world a mere half a year ago, fighting the leader of the biggest ninja corporation of Japan? Because the plot demands it, auntie. I mean, look at the Harry Potter you're comparing this to. You don't have a problem with Voldemort appearing in every book in the most weirdest of places. Yeah, well, you see, the problem with that is that at the very least Harry Potter didn't immediately start fighting the noseless fuck in the first year of his study. The whole story feels rushed, like a bullet point version of a far larger anime. A complaint I have for a lot of animes these days. What is it with modern Japanese anime that they seemingly forgot how to write scripts in a way that doesn't feel as if they stitched random parts of a much larger anime. I would have complained less if this was an original anime problem. You know, new people only learning the ropes, or alternatively there are feasts and their ego is the size of an average depth a regular person in the West has these days, but even adaptations suffer from this problem. But I digress. The graphics are okay, most of the animation and stuff feels stiff on occasion, but it is generally made decently. The music is forgettable as shit, but it does its job. At the end of the day, the biggest problem with this anime is that it tries to do two very big things at once, resulting in a very average view experience. Maybe even a boring one, but people who will undoubtedly say that this anime is shit are lying to you. It's just an average anime that you will not think about again after watching. It will have no lasting impact on you, and the only thing that is of note here is that this provides a decent template on how people expect ninjas to work these days. Mm -hmm.